Hello, friends. I wanted to cover something with you. I'm a little bit upset today, so if it comes out and shows, you know, I think you'll see why in just a second. <clears throat> if you see here on the screen, there's a picture of Paul Watzer, uh, Washer. Um, he's a Calvinist slash reformist. And um, there's a little deal here that says, The intentions and thoughts of men are constantly evil all the time. Again, the intentions and thoughts of men are constantly evil all the time. And then they have a girl here that says, I don't agree with your interpretation of that text. And then it says, I didn't interpret it. Or I didn't interpret the text. Read it. Well, I read it. And I know it by heart anyway. Because I've done what the Bible says to do. And I've stored the word in my heart. So I can smell a rat a mile away. But anyway, um, a friend of mine posted this on his Facebook. And, I, and he's a... Calvinist slash reformist that I've been working with him and working with him and working with him and and, 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 and you know he just the brother just don't get it and um, so here's my reply to him and uh, look forward to your feedback on this I said um, Dennis Paul Washer is altering changing scripture i.e. Genesis 6 5 just like the devil does God would never give men the power to become the sons of God if their hearts are constantly evil all the time. These cherry-picking, guilt-tripper, so-called pastors make me sick. Note that the context is before the flood, and Washer has changed the word were and or was, depending on the, what version you use, to are. That said, anyone that actually thinks <clears throat> that the intentions and thoughts of men are constantly evil all the time in this day and age denies the saving, mind, heart-renewing gospel of Jesus Christ. I could go on and on for hours about this. That said, I read it, Mr. Washer, and you're a false teacher. And I'll tell you to your face and prove it with scripture. Question, was Enoch's intentions and thoughts evil all of the time? You know, he was translated, taken up. What about Elijah? He was also translated and taken up. Um, note, one is pre-flood and the other is post-flood. Beyond that, are your intentions and thoughts evil all the time? If so, repent. Confess your sins and accept the atoning sacrifice Jesus Christ made with his blood. John MacArthur, who actually denies the blood of Jesus, by the way, which is also another Calvinist slash reformist. Um, with his blood on your behalf and have your mind renewed. Do it today while there is still time. And I'll repeat that. Repent. Confess your sins and accept the atoning sacrifice of Christ made with his blood on your behalf and have your mind renewed. Do it today while there's still time. So, you know, guilt is one of the biggest tools that the enemy uses. But my Bible says that uh, when we accept Christ and he comes and dwells upon us or in us, that... Um, our sins will be blotted out and will be white as snow. So, you know, these guys that use guilt to try to control the masses and teach you that you're bad and that uh, you're no good um, are just doing this to control the flock. And uh, so don't fall for it. You got to study your Bibles and uh, Expose these false teachers because these guys, in my reality, in my reality, they're worse than Satanists. Worse than Satanists. Because a Satanist is honest in the sense that, you know, they, they admit that they worship Satan. These guys are twisting the scripture, claiming to be stewards and teachers 
of God and teaching the Word of God, yet they're twisting it. I just proved it. I just proved how they're twisting the scriptures. So, you know, church, we need to stand up to this. You need to learn your Bibles, and you need to call these people out. Because this is like a virus that's just spreading and spreading and spreading in the church, and very few people have the courage, guts, or knowledge, apparently, to stand up and call them out. I'm calling them out. There it is. Look forward to your opinions. And, uh, you know, you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye now. Thank <laughs> you.